Hello and welcome to Retro Roulette, the show that asks the question, the fuck could we possibly do to top the last episode? We're going to find out. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Jason Amherst. Wow. Yes. <laughs> All right. That pretty much sums it up, I'd say. Yeah. Spin oh, I'm, I'm juiced. Let's go. Oh, my Lord. No. <laughs> it's going to continue. <laughs> The, the, the weirdness oh no <laughs> oh no the weirdness continues oh no dane is gonna be so sad he missed this <laughs> doki denki studio <laughs> oh. oh i'm gonna cry <laughs> no oh my god oh, my lord all right <clears throat> photo album Fuck Christopher Robin looking through a camera like an old style camera. Thanks. All right, cool. Well, I I'm I'm still good. Is one of the options to kill myself. <laughs> I I no. will never forget. I will never forget seeing clips of Kingdom Hearts before it came out in America, oh. and hearing Japanese Tigger, and how like <laughs> Son. On, how how on cocaine he sounded. He's on what cocaine is... in English. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Take it and ramp it up to 11. I don't, what is... I don't think... I don't think... I don't think... I... I don't know if I could comprehend that. I can barely do it in English. What is... I don't think... Jesus... T I double go. Oh! <laughs> yes, Tigger, you've bounced me before. You've bounced me before. Where's, oh, Jim? Where's Jim Cummings <laughs> when you need him? Oh, I would like to go bouncing with you, but today I need to gather lots and lots of honey pots. <laughs> yes, for all my friends. But I shall you need a lot more honey. You, you sound less like Winnie the Pooh and more like the guy who sang Monster Mash. <laughs> I was strolling through the graveyard late one night. It's it's hard to bounce between two characters at the same time. I don't know how the hell Jim Cummings does it. TTFN. TTFN. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, okay. look at that pose. It's like two and a half D, I see. Oh, so this is... It's like uh, Tack and the Power of Juju, only honey. Only Tigger. Tigger oh, and the this Power is, of Juju. Uh, this is basically a kid-friendly version of uh, Tarzan. Yeah. There's a cave simply stacked with honey pots. Are you a badger? Oh, that's that's Gopher. Oh, Oh, it's a secret place. Oh, just follow me. Oh, I, I think Gopher kind of talked like that. Are we honest with you, my man? I have no idea. I don't remember. I It's been... I, I, I haven't watched Winnie the Pooh since I was a little kid. Same. And I'm almost hell, 40 now. Hell, well, I, I don't even remember what they sound like in Kingdom Hearts. Because it's by been so long since I've played Kingdom Hearts. By the time this episode comes out, I will be 40, so. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> having an issue. Are you having an issue there, Tigger? <laughs> that was an so, owl. Th I say, Tigger, old chap. Have you noticed how these honey pots are arranged to represent an arrow? Oh, no, I'm too dumb for that and hyperactive. <laughs> I have ADHD. <laughs> Quick, give me some Ritalin. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm collecting photos. It is. It really is a kid-friendly Tarzan. Yep. That's crazy. Interesting that you nailed it on the head like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Jason, Jason, I'm dead. Jason, I'm dead. 
Jason, I'm dead. Don't, don't die. Don't die. Jason, I'm no. dead. I'm dying inside. Oh, my lord. Oh, you got to stop, Tigger. I can't. I can't with you. Oh, my lord. I'm crying. Oh, I think I threw my back out. <laughs> What are the bees doing? I don't care. Get out of here, bees. Not the bees! Not the bees! Oh, my lord. Oh, no. Ugh. This is st We're still on the same theme as last episode, where it's weird, but it's actually not bad. It controls fairly well, I'll say that much. I actually, I think it controls better than Tarzan. It's a little bit better put together. Oh, here's oh, it's a fucking rabbit. Oh, deer. Oh, the deer. Those. I need to find a wheel for my wheelbarrow so I can harvest my. That is. I I do remember that. That is exactly his voice. Yep. Tigger, please bring it back to me. The arrows are going left. Interestingly, is there a leaf over here? You need to find his wheel. Yes, I do. It's gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. Just over the bridge. You couldn't have gone and get, gotten that yourself, Rabbit. It was literally like 100 feet away. Hello there, Hello. Rabbit! <laughs> Here's Don't your wheel. Your wheel, wheel. Boy, real. It was Hooray, literally a magnificent job. It was literally 10 feet from here. Anybody could have grabbed it. Thank you, it. Tigger. <laughs> What'd you call you me? literally got nothing for doing that. Nope. A thank you. Just a thank you. Oh, shit. I thought those were, like, something else. <laughs> I, I, oh, my God. I like how as you lose health, Tigger just gets progressively sadder. <laughs> That's the depression part of ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just telling him God. to go back up. There we go. I guess go back down. I don't know. Oh. Hoot hoot. Let's see how many honey pots. Oh, that's the end of the level? Oh. Or is it a checkpoint? I say, take a good show. I've collected enough honey pots to help Pooh with his party. <laughs> He's a party poo? Oh, that really was the end of the level. Holy shit. Oh, okay. So you have to reach the minimum number. The uh, owl. So owl. Oh, okay. I see. So the owl's like, oh, you got to collect 65 pots on this level. Okay, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> that seems simple enough a concept. The name of this level is Night Tail. That is not a very kid-friendly level name. Listen. <laughs> Even, even oh, you. I need, uh, I need some. I, I need... lost my tail again. Can you, you find me some tail? <laughs> Just shove it in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I need a tail plug. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe one of those uh, kawaii ones. <laughs> Go order one off of adamandeve.com. <laughs> Use the promo code Radio Drill. <laughs> 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 picture down there, but I don't know if I want to fall down and grab it. Eh, fuck it. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! You you got bonked by a tree. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, Tigger. Did the tree get you? <laughs> Shut up! Oh Shut up, you <laughs> stupid ass! That's what you are. You're an ass. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get. But I mean, you just gotta grab it, go. but don't stand in front of the tree. Yeah, don't don't stand in front of the tree. Got it. There we go. Easy enough. Yeah. All right, now navigate the floating leaves. 
<sighs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. Whoop. <coughs> there boy, we go. Gee boy, gee boy, gee boy, gee. Oh, oh God. Oh, I'm climbing the trees. Interesting. Enemies. Yeah, I don't know if I can stomp on them or. Or Sorry. if they're just obstacles. Maybe they might just be obstacles. This seems like it's the type of game to just have them as obstacles. You see, tiggers are non-violent. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing on that sound effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. The the mechanic to grab onto the ledges is a tiny bit jank. Just a tiny bit. He's he sounds less like he's struggling when he does that, and more like oh, freaking. Oh god! Uh, I fell all the way down. More, more like he's trying to do like a freaking, uh, like jabber jaw, like a. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's doing his best Charles Nelson Riley impression. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh Jesus! You try. You try sitting next to Jack Cluckman's wife for for twelve years. <laughs> it's a match game reference for all those of you out there that's not that aren't old enough to have experienced match game. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so uh, watch a little game show network. Yes, or buzzer. Buzzer's where it is right now. But yeah, ah, uh, same thing. <clears throat> game show network is just basically America says the channel. Really? Yeah, I don't really care for huh. that. I haven't, uh, I haven't hey tuned guys, into that channel for a while. Hey guys, let's make a low rent family feud, where instead of guessing where the fuck, instead of guessing where the answers will be on the board, we're just gonna give you the first letters of all the answers, and you just have to fill in the blanks. And it's really fucking stupid. And I don't know how it lasted as long as it did. Wow. But let's make John Michael Higgins host it. In fairness, John Michael Higgins is pretty good. They actually revived Split Second, which I was very impressed with. I saw an episode of that, and I was like, this is accurate to the original game show. So, lo and behold, yes, Game Show Network can still do games right when they give a shit. Of course, they weren't going to. They weren't uh, going to fuck up a Monty Hall property. I would. I think Monty Hall would have rose from his grave at that point. <laughs> I miss uh, Russian Roulette. Me too, man. That was one of my that favorite one, fucking that, shows on that the channel. That was a fun one. Yeah. You know, I want another game show with that gimmick where, like, the floor opens up underneath people to eliminate them. Yeah. Russian Roulette and Whammy. Give me those two back, and we're good. I mean. ABC does have a revival of Press Your Luck. That's fair, yeah. Press Your Luck is, ba is basically our still on the air. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just Although, give me, give me uh, Rush uh, Roulette. Wh Whammy did have, like, the Mega Whammies that, uh... Yeah, Double did, like, Whammies. Special yeah, that did, like, the special effects I, that, uh, I appreciate that everything. gimmick. I appreciated that gimmick and because it made it less like the original. It didn't make it, like, yeah. a carbon copy of the original. Yeah. And I appreciated that, and that's and it why has a I different board. That's too. why I liked the, the reboot. Yeah, yeah, because they took, they didn't, they they kept the original game show's formula, tinkered it a little bit, but didn't fucking destroy the integrity of the game. And I appreciated that. And Todd Newton, I don't think I can get across that. Uh, Todd Newton is a, it was a very suitable replacement for for uh, <clears throat> Peter Tamarkin. Peter Tamarkin died right before the show, I think, premiered. He hosted the pilot, but then... Uh, yeah. No, no, because he hosted, he hosted like, a round of an episode back in, uh, like, the second season. But then he died right after that. Yeah, I, uh, I like that, and then... Uh, oh, well, uh, they brought back Lingo, too. 
Yeah, RuPaul's hosting that, I think, on CBS. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of what they did with the, the lingo format. It yeah. Worked, it worked better the original format. Kanga. Kanga wants to open this door. No, that's Rue. That's not Kanga. Kanga's the big one. Let me help you out. Let's jump on it until it opens. Also, there's a little sus, Tigger, that you're collecting photos of, of, of Rue. Of Rue, yeah. yeah. That's a little sus. P. Diddy? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering why uh, Kanga spread all those photos of uh, Rue everywhere. You uh, planning to have some uh, Kanga parties there, Kanga? <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Oh, oh, it's up here. All right. Oh, leaves. I see. Oh, leaves. Okay. I was like, where do I go? So, uh, speaking of Disney games, um, I discovered recently a ROM hack for uh, Goof Troop, actually. Interesting. Yeah, I was like, wow, this game doesn't get enough love. And somebody actually went out of their way to do a ROM hack for it. I'm like, I think I need to play this because Goof Troop is a solid freaking Zelda-like game. It is, yes. It's like co-op Zelda, which is great well, i mean it's basically prototype four swords that yes it's zelda two swords yes i absolutely agree with that all right i collected your honey pots let me through this level <laughs> so uh, tigger went on the dark uh, tigger went on the dark web and got all the honey pots <laughs> now he's, uh, he's going to federal pound me in the ass prison Damn it, it's a honey trap, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Tigger's actually Tigger, Tigger, Tigger's actually a convicted felon. <laughs> Thoughts on uh, whatever this game was fucking called? I forget. Uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt? Yeah, Tigger's Honey Hunt. Thoughts on Tigger's Honey Hunt, Jason? Oh, uh, hello. I am Tigger, and I'm on the hunt for honeys. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Real sus. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Did you fall over? What the fuck happened there? <laughs> That's me pounding my desk in freaking disappointment of myself for doing that. <laughs> I thought you slammed your head into the fucking thing for a minute. I was like, all right, there's no need to injure yourself. I almost, did. I almost did. I leaned forward and caught myself by pounding my fist Christ. into the desk. <laughs> <laughs> this, Con this is, this Congo's is a gonna very see you. Congo's gonna see you and be like, "Why well, you got a big dent in your forehead, Jay?" <laughs> <laughs> be like, "None of your business, man." <laughs> what's, what happened? <laughs> what's what's with the blood smear all over the freaking desk? <laughs> the chunk of your desk missing too. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> no, it's it's a glass top desk, dude. Like oh. it, there would not. There would not be a chunk of the desk missing, okay? Unless it was embedded in your skull. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Christ no, almighty. Oh, the the only way that would be happening is if I took a freak if I took a fall through the desk the hard way like mock style. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and there ain't enough room on the desk for that with all the <laughs> monitors and all that stuff. So Cry me a river. But this <laughs> real glass. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, real life. <laughs> you knocked on it to demonstrate. <laughs> Thoughts on this is, this is a, this is a very on. innocuous and innocent platformer. In fact, I was not expecting a platformer from a Winnie the Pooh game. I was expecting something actually like, you know, freaking educational, like the Sesame Street game. Yeah, shit. Like, that or I was also being led to believe that this was a Mario Party like, which I would also have not been terribly oh, like, down on like the I weird would, rugrats game yeah i thought they could have put the the main menu would have led me to believe that it was a mario party like and yeah. i wouldn't have i wouldn't have been upset with that honestly yeah I, you know what uh, winnie the pooh mario party like wouldn't have been that bad In yeah fact, you can like, play as you got a you got a whole shitload of characters you can play as and you, didn't he didn't he if you listening to this why, why you no make 
a poo a, party. a why, why do you not make <laughs> poo party? <laughs> Well, that's why they're Never not mind. making poo party. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> why? Why you no make Mickey party though, or Disney party? Mickey, like why you no I'm make? I'm pretty that? sure Mickey party was hosted by Bill Cosby. Oh my god. It is a weird concept, but the game is actually really playable. It's fun. It's easy to control. There's really nothing wrong with it. If you're a fan of Winnie the Pooh, you'll probably enjoy it and get a kick out of this game. Scores out of 10, Jason. Six. I'll give it a six as well. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, this episode. What this What are we going to get next? Are we, are we going to get Duck Dodgers? Are we going to get South Park Rally? I we gotta know, get man. Tom and Jerry in know, in Smash of Fury. It's hard telling. I mean, there's really only like one or two like hard. Oh Christ! <laughs> diarrhea Mike's, cards in here. Mike's choice. Oh man. Well, we we gonna we gonna get wacky, or are we gonna play something decent? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's get wacky. <laughs> you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts! <laughs> Might as well. Keep the keep the weird train going. Yeah! I don't know why Duck Dodgers need, felt they need to fart before he did that. But all right. <laughs> Whatever. That gas cloud. Yeah, sure makes the duck tired. <laughs> sure makes the duck gaffy. <laughs> Sweet and faffy from the affy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? No, oh, no, my Adams. <laughs> oh, God. You oh, no. Me. Is Marvin the Martian in this? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the kaboom? Oh God! <laughs> and you, somebody, Sam too. And did I, ever did I ever tell you my favorite Fred Williamson movie? <laughs> oh my God! There's voiceover too. There is. <laughs> but I just love his rogues gallery that he's gathered, like Yosemite Sam and Muggsy, and then whoever these other two schmucks are. Oh, you're out of fuel there, buddy. Did I? I swear to God, I didn't wake up this morning, and that's why this is happening. I didn't wake up this morning. I, I'm still. <laughs> I died in my sleep, and this is no, the result. No. <laughs> this this whole session is a result of me dying in my sleep. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, I mean, I didn't wake up this morning either. Uh, no shit. How do we end up in this in this hellish landscape together? No, <laughs> oh, I uh, I early voted today, and oh my lord, this is straight up the just a fucking cartoon. This is Oh my god, wow. This is straight up the oh, Duck there, Dodgers cartoon. There was a Duck Dodgers series around this time too on Kids WB. Yeah, but this is the original Looney Tunes cartoon that this is that yeah. these scenes are straight out of. I sent for you Dodgers because we are facing a crisis. We have learned that Marvin Oh, you're just going to talk over yourself, huh? All right. <laughs> Finish a sentence before you start one, all right? Thank you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Why do y'all just cut it, cut yourselves off in mid sentence? That makes no I sense. I know. What the hell? <laughs> what is up with that dialogue? Oh, I forgot Porky Pig was in that. Yeah. Eager young space cadet. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Had the thing in reverse. <laughs> Just, this, this, in this, the 24th and a half 
Century! There are some strange ass fucking timing issues going on with these cutscenes. It's it has to do with the uh, the frame rate. It's because it's playing at uh, 60 FPS instead of 30, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, we what just, the fuck was that, that noise that was, even? That was Porky Pig coming, clearly. He climaxes and all of a sudden fucking the Mario Kart 8 mu mini music starts playing. <laughs> oh my god. I can't with this fucking session. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are these some of the greatest episodes we ever recorded? Uh I said the last episode was probably the greatest one we ever recorded. I don't know, man. This is given it last last episode to run for its money. Yeah. Oh my Holy god. Holy crap. Oh. Just just hitting a hell of a stride with uh, some of these games. Yeah, it's what proof what that you, what happened? It's proof that you don't need a good game to have a good roulette episode. That is that is absolutely 100% true and we we've proven it. Yeah. What happened on the N64 in the year 2000? My God. Like, who hurt you, Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I. the thing is, is so many more games came out on the PlayStation than the Nintendo 64, too. Like, I feel like the deluge of crap is probably so much more immense on the uh, on the PlayStation. That is true. We should probably do a PlayStation roulette at some point. Oh man, that'll be like nonstop fucking mediocrity and fucking weirdness. Like, like yes, there is garbage on the N sixty four, but it has been good garbo. Yeah, strangely, like, like. What the, I don't know how to, to quote, how it happened. To quote one of my favorite YouTubers, stop stop skeletons from fighting. This is good Garbo. It is. You know, but like, if we do a PlayStation real with the PlayStation One, we're gonna come across probably like nothing but the most mediocre and like just yeah. painful Whoops. games. I, I would have I would have probably flipped my shit if, if Daffy had drowned because he's a fucking I mean, duck. <laughs> I mean, think about it for a second. PlayStation Roulette. What are we gonna have to deal with eventually uh, if we do a PlayStation Roulette? Fucking Blasto. <laughs> the fucking... Bubsy 3D. Oh God, yeah. I was thinking Blasto because we were just gonna be like sad because Phil Hartman died. And he, no, he's I'm, Blasto I'm... in that. <laughs> like. Yeah, we're we're gonna have some hidden gems like Croc. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it's Spyro, and, and the course, Spyro games and Spyro we're and gonna Crash have some Bandicoot, really good things like Moto, yeah, Absolutely, you know, and eventually the Final Fantasy games. Like we're gonna get some good stuff, but a lot of it is gonna be Legend of Dragoon. But then there's like gonna be nothing but here. pure garbage. Like only worse, and it's not even yeah. gonna be fun garbage. It's gonna be like <laughs> it's gonna be like. Corporately mandated garbage. <laughs> Oi. I should try to find a list of of uh, PS1 games in chronological order so we can maybe do one. Oh, man. Because we're coming close to the end of we're, the N64 we're, life span. Yeah, we are nearing the end. Yep. Because uh, the GameCube is right around the corner. Yep. That was uh, 2001. Yep. And the last N64 game came out in 02. 2001 yep. was actually the last full year of N64 games because I think it was like early 2002 was the last N64 game. So, yeah, we're getting fairly close to the end of it. What a hell of a way to to, to, to wrap up N64 was a bunch of fucking weirdness. We'll get no, I mean, we'll get no mercy at least. I mean, that's kind of what we're experiencing right now in like year. I want to say seven of the Switch right now. Like, uh, yeah, we're at two thousand. I want to say the Switch came out in twenty fourteen. 
No. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, 2013. 2013. So year 11 then of the Switch. Holy shit, man. I can't believe that system's lasted as so long as it has. 2013 That's, to... The Switch... Wait. The Switch has had as long of a shelf life as the fucking P PS2. That is quite amazing. 2017. 2017. Okay, so still, yeah, 17 so years. Seven, seven, years. seven years. Still. Yeah. Still a long time and, for a, sh and for a it, console. It, and it might actually outsell the PlayStation 2 when all said and done. That, that is also true. Switch is probably one of the best systems Nintendo, Nintendo's ever made. Oh, hell yeah. It's like, up there. I freaking... It's up there with the SNES and the, and, the, and the GameCube was pretty good, too. But like this, the yeah. Switch might be the best one, especially I, considering I all the games that get like, remade for the Switch, like fucking Mario RPG. Holy shit! Who'd yep. have ever thought that would have been possible? They had to get the license for fucking Namco. I got, I got that one. Yeah, they got that one from Square. Uh, uh, Square, they got Square that Enix. One. My bad. Yeah, I've been saying Namco. Yeah, but yeah, you're they, right. They got that one, and then like they they remade uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um. Hell, Luigi's Mansion 2 from the 3DS got remade. Yeah. Um, freaking. Actually, the one that blows my mind the most Whoops. is Famicom Detective Club getting not only remade. That, yeah, translated. Not only getting remade, translated and getting a sequel all these years later. Like. The fact that we got a brand new Famicom Detective Club game in the year 2024, all these that years later. Crazy. Like, Considering the Famicom isn't even in production anymore. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got the freaking Japanese collector's edition of that game. <laughs> I imported that shit from Japan because it was such a momentous event. It came with a it came with an art book. It came with a soundtrack. Both of them came wrapped in a fancy little thing that said, warning, spoilers, do not open before yeah. playing the game. And then uh, it even came with a replica of uh, the villain's creepy bag head mask. You know what? I'm just going to say it. I don't think this is a hot take at all. I think the Switch is Nintendo's best system. No, I, I definitely say it is probably their... In fact, I dare say that... If they don't name the next system Super Switch, they oh, are missing yes. the ball. They are missing the ball on the marketing. But, because don't, like, but don't name the third one Switch 64. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Switch 64. Wait, well, we're not going to do that again. <laughs> yeah. Or Switch Cube. Switch Cube? Switch Cube, actually. <laughs> I, would, I would probably buy a Switch Cube. Okay, may maybe Switch Cube. Because the GameCube was good. Yes. Yeah. I, as long as they don't make another boneheaded move like Wii Wii U. Like, you know, I think the problem Wii, was Wii, is that, Wii like, <laughs> Wii, Wii, Wii U. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I know that, that was meant to be two separate consoles, but <laughs> you put them together. <laughs> Wii Wii U. <laughs> Wii Wii U. Uh, granted, <laughs> th this, this is my hot take. The Wii U is actually a good console. Wii Wii U. Wii Wii U. Does Kung Pao enter the Switch? <laughs> to the switch oh my god oh my god minor chase uh we not doing phrasing uh phrasing uh p diddy <laughs> <laughs> yeah can we not hey phrasing <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thanks, Archer. <laughs> I, I have a button what for when I'm too tired <laughs> to Archer, actually say it. You have an Archer button. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I have an Archer button. I, I have buttons for when I'm too tired to actually say things. <laughs> That's fair. Oh. I, I'm just, I'm just kind of bummed because I completely forgot to hit the button while Dane was here of... <gasps> That describes this. That, that describes this session. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Oh my god! This fucking session. It's a uh, retro roulette's bizarre adventure. No shit. Jojo oh, would have been man. proud. <laughs> Jojo looking at us, going, uh, "Duck hey Dodgers guys, is that. my stand." Duck <laughs> <laughs> Dodgers. My stand was Lightspeed Rescue, apparently. 
I guess. Oh. Can I get up there now? Is that why the... Oh, Jesus. The, the question is... Can we whip this camera if, around? Thank you. If there Dane had realized that things were going to be so weird, what weird game would he have picked? I don't know, man. Yeah, like I said, Mario Party was probably the most normal thing we ever we're, we played on this episode. Uh, the Mario, the uh, Paper Mario, yeah. Yeah, Party Pop. Yeah, that's what I meant. I don't know what yeah. I said, but I meant Mar uh, Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I don't know, man. I feel like he probably would have picked Tom and Jerry Blow Walrus. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Fist of Furry. <laughs> God damn it. That was, it. A, that was my joke. That was the joke we made in the first episode. And I completely just said it like fucking force a habit stream of consciousness. <laughs> Tom and Jerry blow a Wallace 64. Oh my God. <laughs> press a, oh press my God. a to blow Walrus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... I, my... It, this these this session has warped my fragile little mind. <laughs> it has warped my fragile little mind. Yep. I swear to God, if we end up playing fucking South Park Rally now. South Park Rally. If one more game this session. <laughs> it is just the most astounding thing about this session is we haven't used any diarrhea cards at all. Because that's how it's been. It's been weird but strangely good. Or at least decent. Yeah. Camera, can you cooperate with me for like 10 seconds? I appreciate that. You know, I just had this hilarious realization not too long ago. I, I was looking up clips because uh, a friend of mine had to explain what juggalos were to his incredibly sheltered wife. <laughs> And, I don't uh, envy that task. <laughs> and uh, so I, I looked up clips of the oddities from uh, WWF back in the day and found a clip from uh, You're a little WWF. late with that instruction, Porky. I already figured out how to dive underwater. <laughs> found a clip from WWF in your house, rock, uh, rock bottom. Rock blossom, rock lobster, <laughs> rock blop, blop, bum 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 rock bottom, <laughs> rock bottom, <laughs> rock bottom. <laughs> so <laughs> they were in the arena. Everybody had matching chairs. <laughs> Somebody went over the top rope, and there they saw The Rock. <laughs> but it wasn't The Rock. It was Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson! Oh, I'm gonna have a headache after this so this show. Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, everybody upstairs probably thinks I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and they're not wrong. Thoughts on Duck Dodgers uh, starting Duck, oh, Jason. Man. You know, uh, this is again surprisingly competent platformer. Like, I would have expected this to have like jerky like you know freaking you know like zappy shooting mechanics and stuff like that no it's just jumping around from platform to platform and stuff like yeah, yeah it's I, I feel like the only thing that's like a very very minor problem is the camera can be a little finicky sometimes but like you get that's such, an N64 issue. You get such. <laughs> you do get a, a quite a quite a fine control tuning of the camera, so it's not like you can't like fix it with some with some with a little bit of elbow grease. It's not bad. Like it's it's a very well put together platformer. I, I'll have to give them credit for 
for making for making a, a game featuring a, a, a Looney Tune character playing a character from like 30, 40, 50 years ago and making it entertaining. Scores out of 10, Jason. You know what? Seven. It's that voiceover that really got me on this. Yeah, I, I'm down. Seven. Let's do it. I'm good for that. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know what we can do. I don't know. There's, there's still a couple of weird games left on the wheel. Let's let's see what we get. Well, uh, we landed on Duck Dodgers, so that's an automatic uh, diarrhea card. So we have five now. Okay, so I guess the weirdness is done. But we get a good game out of it. Is it a play? There we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, this will this will actually be this will actually be good. Although I'll I'll admit I feel spoiled playing it on the 360 <laughs> with the analog uh, camera controls. Oh yeah, it did get remastered for 360. I forgot about that. Yeah, might have to play that that version at some point. In the meantime, though, in 64 graphics. The thing is, it's not even a remaster. It's basically the N64 version. Just with better controls. Yeah. You know, because the Xbox controller was... <laughs> the, the 360 controller was, was a pretty good controller, at least. It was decent, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like... I it mean, wasn't the original Xbox controller. That fucking... Ugh. Giant the Duke. Piece of dog aids. <laughs> it's it's funny that it was nicknamed the Duke, because... Yeah, it felt like it was I was like taking... A the, yeah. It was a turd. <laughs> it was a turd. This is a giant shit. Oh, not only do you have two sticks and D-pad, you got these four face buttons, and then here, let's give you also a white button and a black button, and then the two triggers and two bumpers. And um, How many fucking buttons you need, my dude? Yeah. Just give us a... It, it, your Microsoft, just give us a fucking controller at that point. <laughs> or a keyboard, I should say, at that point. Hey, I mean, it, it could be worse. Could be raining. You could be, you could be using a CDI controller. That's fair. Do you mean like the actual controller with like the big stick or in a remote control? Because the remote control, I would probably chuck this fucking game out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean the CDI remote control. Yeah, the freaking. I would, I would set myself on fire <laughs> if I don't win the championship. I will set myself on fire <laughs> <laughs> because because uh, I, I'm I'm forcing the monkey to play a game. With uh -oh. a replica CDI controller. Why does that monkey not hate you? <laughs> oh, he very much hates me. I was going to say. He hates me with a passion. Well, here, you know what? Just to... Just a, a show of solidarity. Solidarity. <laughs> Use a control. I'm using a control stick like a fucking dunkleton. <laughs> oh, use a goddamn control pad, idiot. It's type. That's much easier. All right. Uh, yeah. It's it's. We have the replica CDI controller from Limited Run Interactive. Uh, it's a USB controller modeled after the CDI controller designed specifically to play games like RZ and plumbers don't wear ties. Jesus. Yeah. And uh the flowers of Robert to, Maplethorpe. <laughs> he's he's going to play uh, he's going to play RZ <laughs> with that controller. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I would be careful, Jason. I would. He's he. Uh, Congo might kill you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's gonna uh, he's gonna break into my room and choke me out with that controller cord. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's gonna wrap it right around your neck. <laughs> this is what you get for making me use a CDI controller, you stupid fuck. <laughs> He's going to come after me like John Moxley came after uh, Brian Danielson. I work with children. <laughs> <laughs> and I work with a monkey. That's fair. <laughs> I, I would rather the monkey. I'll, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, I work with a fucking monkey. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you, know, you know he could probably hear you, right? He's probably, I think he's in the other room. <laughs> no, he is in the other room. So uh, he's, he's, he's watching SmackDown right now. Yeah. Yeah, I have that going for him. <laughs> uh, he's, he's enjoying it for the most part. You know what I really like about this game is that it's basically GoldenEye 2. Basically, yeah. It's like I'm, I'm kind of hey. curious to see what they're gonna do with uh, the the kind of sort of reboot of the franchise. It's like uh, mm. Rare wanted to make a GoldenEye two, but they, you can't really make a sequel to a game based off of a movie, so it became this. And the thing is, like, they did so many cool little things, like the whole like secondary uh fire feature on the weapons and i need to uh invert that's what i meant reverse pitch that'll work so i can fucking control this a little better oh the game does sort of auto aim for you a bit too so yeah yeah i just, <laughs> I just don't want to hit down and look up because it, i'm not controlling it's a human being i'm controlling not a fucking plane yeah yeah I've never liked that about certain games. It's like, why why would you have playing controls when you're controlling a human character? Ah, oh, the the Comp 150. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and I actually have this for my N64. Oh, yeah, B is to open. Okay. Whoop! Whoa! Fucking excuse me? Uh, that was a glitch. <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Go through the door. What the hell? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Oh, <laughs> there's a dude down here, I think. Where's he at? There's a guy up there. Where? Where? No, he's up there. Oh, I see. I, I remember this quite well. <laughs> I've got muscle memory quite ingrained for the first level. <laughs> you dead? No. Okay, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Fucking drama queen. They they have lengthy uh, death animations. Oh, I gotta have a mind. To, okay, I see. Yeah, no. On on uh, on this difficulty, there's only like one thing that you need to do. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of clip through things. <laughs> Joanna Dark has a secret ability to, to see through floors. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks her head through them. It's like it's recon work. Go fuck yourself. Thank <laughs> you. Pick up ammo. Who the? Who the? I'm Joanna Dark. Die, <laughs> scum. Okay, I didn't figure I could do anything with that. Open this. Anything in here? No. Whoa! Oh, the moon was out. It's pretty. <laughs> As I phase through the fucking floor. I think there, there's might definitely... Have been, yeah, it might have been like the door doing that. I don't know. Uh, So, yeah. No, you need to go back up there because there's the... Uh... The lady you gotta like steal the thing from oh back upstairs okay yeah what? oh oh good save me a trip <laughs> yeah you, you just kind of just clip through I'll the just stairs clip there. through the fucking floor yeah so make sure you're unarmed okay i don't because you can't shoot the lady i gotta figure out how to do that switch weapons i don't i don't know how that's done oh there we go there I we see. go unarmed all right you can also uh change the uh Secondary firing mode. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, from from whoop, there. Whoop. <laughs> from there, I just phase up. 
There's uh, there's the center room. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm a dumb she's dumb. like, who do you think you are? Just punch her. Um, whoops. Nope. You're right. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I know. Don't don't worry about her. But you need the necklace. Should probably get my gun back out now. Now, now you can keep going down. Or yeah, wherever the store goes. Yeah. Oh, down. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, uh, you won't kill me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> nope, and I don't care. No, nope. <laughs> don't, don't give a shit. <laughs> Target sighted. Yeah. She got. She me. got me. <laughs> I, I love the freaking like NPC dialogue in this game. Oh, one shot didn't kill you, huh? All right. I love that you can actually shoot them in different spots and they react to it. That's like that, you can shoot I mean, them in the hand or that was a thing in Goldeneye, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to die. Yeah, Go Goldeneye pretty much popularized headshots. Yeah. I don't. Th I wouldn't say it invented them because I'm pretty sure like there were games before that 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 had headshots, but Goldeneye was the the spearhead of that, so to speak. That room to nowhere, nice. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, you gotta just take the elevator down. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Got to, uh, got to get all the way down to the bottom floor somehow. Oh, I see. So one of my favorite things in this game also was uh, the fact that there was a two-player co-op. Whoa! <laughs> Fucking excuse me. I I wish that the uh, uh, the 360 version like it didn't cost money to play games online on the 360 because like being able to play the 360 version online would be so much fun. Then again, there is a 360 emulator. I think that one guard just called me a bitch. <laughs> We've got a There's also a room with a hidden second uh, pistol. Okay. I think it's on this floor. Oh, it's this guy. He was holding it. Now you can actually uh, dual wield the... Uh, can I? I think so, yeah. I don't know how I do that. Should uh like There there should be a way to like look at your weapons as a whole. Yeah, see you you pulled up like the thing that showed all your weapons. Nah, there there was another way of doing that. Um, oh, that's just a pistol whip. No, nah, that's that's a different thing too. Um, no, nah, there's there's a thing that pulls up like a menu that shows like a bunch of squares, like red squares that show like all your different weapons that you have. I don't know. Was it? Was it A or B or... A is the what changes the weapons and B is going between pistol whip and single shot. So hold A. There you go. Now go up to Falcon 2. Oh, that's weird that it's not letting you uh, dual wield them. Because the Falcon 2 is one of the few weapons that lets you dual wield. Maybe that was a feature only in the Xbox version. Nah, that was definitely in the N64 game because I remember killing that dude and being able to, because it said picked up Falcon 2 silenced. Well, I don't know. 
<laughs> maybe maybe it's an accoutrement issue. That could be. I do have unlimited it's, ammo on. That might be what's fucking with it. But that's all right. It's not that big. Unlimited deal. ammo. Unlimited ammo is keeping you from dual wielding. And, oh, there we go. Oh, Never mind. Oh, there we go. Nope, we're just wrong. Double. Never mind. <laughs> we, you just didn't pick up the second one. That was it. Now we, now we have two. Sweet. Nice. Okay, from here you should be able to get on an elevator and go down to the bottom floor. All right. I so I gotta, I gotta find the elevator. Uh, the elevators are uh, the obvious glass doors that are like you can see the elevators going up and down. Oh. Uh, see. Oh, so like. You can literally like. See. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm a dumb. They might they might go up before they go down. Nope, this one's going straight down. <laughs> or I'll just phase through the top of it first. <laughs> then I'll go down. Okay, going straight down to the bottom. Joanna Dark's hidden secret uh, ability to jump through roofs. All right. At least, at least wait for me to get down there before you start shooting at me. That would be nice. Take her down, man! Ding <laughs> dong dim dong ding ling dang! Get the varmint! God, this is such a fun game. It's been ages since I've played any of it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I, the, the memories are are coming back. There, there's also um. Fully playable on a 360 emulator on PC, um, a remastered version of GoldenEye. Nice. Yeah, like it was an unreleased game that leaked out online. I was like, ooh. The full game, single player, remastered. Yeah, so uh, it's a hidden door built into the wall. Uh, Whoop. Whoop. Ooh. Oh, you already have those guns anyway. What? Uh, uh, you just kind of clipped through the floor there. Nice. Damn it, Joanna! Uh, stop! Stop phasing uh, through the fucking go, floor. Go. Go. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, behind you. To the left. And through the portrait there. Pip pow 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 die pow die 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 pow. <laughs> uh, yay. Yep. And basement elevator. Hooray! Thoughts on Perfect Dark, Jason? Oh, uh, this is such <laughs> a good game. Oh, I love this game so much. Like this is this is just such a fun freaking first person shooter and the the multiplayer is just so much fun on top of it all. Like there there were there were modifiers that you could do. There there were things that you can do in multiplayer. I remember there was one time I was playing multiplayer and the only weapon that we allowed was pinball grenades. It was pure chaos. <laughs> <laughs> just nothing but bouncing bam, grenades bam, 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 everywhere. Bam, 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 bam. You could not walk anywhere without an explosion going it's off like, and the frame rate <laughs> dropping horribly. It's like, how did you manage to turn Perfect Dark into a bullet hell game? <laughs> <laughs> oh my did it. god. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah, somebody at Rare was like, How do we make a Gold Knight 2, but there's no Gold Knight 2 movie and we don't have the James Bond license? I know. Let's just do Perfect Dark. Uh, home run on that one. Uh, whoever came up with this idea, Rare, you're a fucking genius. Probably Ken Lob. I, I, I would kiss you on the mouth, Ken Lob, if I ever saw you in person. Uh, it scores out of 10, Jace. Damn. Yeah, 10. Absolutely a 10. On this episode, which was not as weird as the last one, but still kind of weird, we played Tigger's Honey Hunk. <laughs> Tigger's Honey Hunt. Uh, Duck Dodger starting down. <laughs> 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 honey honk. 
Tigger's a honey hunk. <laughs> uh, Tigger's oh, honey God. hunk. <laughs> Duck Dodger starring Daffy Duck in Perfect Dark. Uh, oh, best man. Best episode, Jason. Uh, uh, I would say uh, Tigger's Honey. Perfect Dark. You yeah, kidding per me? Per perfect Dark. <laughs> uh, it's not really a contest, I don't think. No contest Thanks. at all. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Bye, everybody!